All right, so I just found out about this new AI called Rollers AI. What it basically does is takes photos of your cars in literally any type of scene you want. As you can see here, there's tons of different examples of previous scenes that have been generated. And before I started recording, I just went ahead and kind of messed around with the different prompts here. And as you can see, some of these images are actually like really realistic, which is actually crazy. Like this one literally looks like an image. If you just showed this to someone, I'd bet like 80% of the people that aren't like really aware of AI would think this is real, which is actually crazy. Like here's another great example. Like this actually looks so realistic and the fact that this is all done in ai is actually crazy all you have to do is upload your car and you can pretty much create whatever scene you want so like i said at the start of the video i literally just found out about this website so it's kind of all new to me and shout out to them for giving me credit so i can actually test this out and show you guys how this works so i'm gonna kind of walk through it and show you guys how to upload your model and then go through the different scenes and different environments that you can create so to start off you just want to head over to rollers ai or you can actually download their mobile app which is also really good, but I'm just gonna be using their website here. You can sign up for free, but there is a paid version which allows you to create more renders or I guess more generations as well as you can create videos. So I think it's like 15 or $30 to sign up for the paid version, which to be honest, it's probably cheaper than hiring a photographer to go out and take pictures of your car. And you can literally just do it sitting at home. So it's really easy and probably worth the money to get some pretty cool results and share it on your social media. So to get started, what you want to do is go over to the create model tab. You just want to go ahead and make sure you take some photos or if you already have photos of your car, you just want to go around it and make sure you're taking photos from pretty much every single angle. They don't have to be like anything crazy just super simple and basic pictures um it says here anywhere from 10 to 20 so i think i took around like 17 and just uploaded them into this uh portal here but it's pretty self-explanatory like you just want to go here enter in the model name of the car i took pictures of an audi so 2016 audi s4 b8.5 and then just enter in the vehicle color vehicle type it's a car but yeah, then you just go ahead and upload your images here and then hit start training. And I think it takes anywhere from like 10 to 20 minutes for your model to be done. Then once your model is done generating, then you can go over to the photo shoot tab here. This is where we can actually generate the different scenes and actually have fun messing around with the different prompts. And these prompt tips are super useful and pretty important for these different renders. Over here on the right, there's a gallery that you can open up that has all of these different renders. And these are all different prompts that you can actually use and just replace with your car. So, I mean, as you can see here, there's literally tons of different ones you can choose from which is pretty cool since you don't have to actually kind of brainstorm your own prompts you can take these and tweak them for yourself this one right here with the lamborghini looks like really cool so let's go ahead and try this one out and i mean i guess everything here is fine i might have to go ahead and change some things if the results don't look kind of what i'm going for but once you have your prompt in then you can just make sure you have that model selected then for the size i'm going to be doing 9 by 16 which is the vertical format for like TikTok and Instagram. Basically, if you want your render to have the car, I guess you need to use this trigger word R L L R S C R. But as you can see, it's already included in this prompt here. So if you're creating your own prompt, you need to make sure you include this word right here. But yeah, let's go ahead and click this photo shoot button and see what kind of result we get. All right, I just got done rendering. And as you can see, this is actually crazy. Like this took what, like 10 seconds? And I have this insane image that would pretty much be impossible to create in real life. Let's be honest. Like when are you ever going to get, I don't know what this is, a volcano or something with your car on the beach? Like this is literally impossible to do. So the fact you can do this and have your car pretty much perfect. Like I, don't, I can't really zoom in here, but I don't really see any artifacts, which is pretty impressive that it doesn't really warp your car at all. You will get some shots that are kind of like messed up. I'd say like 80 or 90% of the shots are good, but you'll get some that are kind of wonky, but yeah. This looks really cool. Um, I guess what you can do as well as kind of tell the prompt to shoot your car at different angles. So at the end of this prompt, I'm gonna do like focus on the rear of the car. And let's see what that does. Yeah, so a bit different, not ideally what I was looking for. I don't know why I didn't really focus too much on the car. It was more on the background, but as you can see, it definitely did try to focus more on the rear of the car. I might just go ahead and try that again to see if I get a better result. There we go. That is actually crazy. That's literally exactly what I was looking for. I might just go ahead and keep creating some different renders here with these uh, prompts. So let's go ahead and change this again. But yeah, there we go. Now we have our pretty much photo shoot done of this car. What it took like five minutes and now we have these crazy images. We could even probably take these into Lightroom and even kind of add some editing and presets to these and make them even better. But just out of here, they look really good. You can even take them to this HD photo upscaler and you can actually upscale these images to be like 4k or whatever so if you want to do that you can do that i think it's for the paid version but yeah go ahead and mess with that if you find an image you really like you can upscale it up all right so now for my next generation i'm just going to be using my own prompt as you can see i'm doing a pretty random one i'm doing a picture of the car 
and then inside of the living room of a house. I'm really not expecting the best, but let's see what this kind of vague prompt creates. All right, it just got done and here is our render, I guess. I mean, it's inside of something, not really exactly what I was going for. Let's go ahead and try this again. So I changed the prompt a bit and let's go ahead and hit the photo shoot. And there we go. This is more like it. We have a car inside of a living room, something you would literally never see, but you see it now with AI. And you could take this, turn it into a video. Let's go ahead and generate another one just for fun. And there we go, another cool image. This one actually looks like really realistic for some reason. This is actually crazy. I'm also gonna change this prompt to focus on the rear of the car and see if it changes the perspective of it. And there we go. Now we have a picture of the backside of the car. So we pretty much have a full entire living room photo shoot done just like that something you'd pretty much never see <laughs> i've changed the prompt now and we are adding a dog to sit on top of the car let's go ahead and hit photo shoot and see what this creates and there we go as you can see i generated two of these one of the rear of the car this is just actually kind of freaky i don't know why it actually looks pretty good and this one too with the front of the car i mean if you want to use this you can i guess i don't i don't know what i'm doing but yeah if you want a dog to sell in your car you can do that all right to be honest this is actually pretty addicting to keep creating different prompts but for the last one here i'm gonna do this one which kind of just explains a car sitting in a snowy environment with mountain backgrounds and a fox next to the car and once again i'm doing vertical and let's go ahead and hit photo shoot if you guys have any funny prompts or anything that you come up with while watching this video leave them down in the comments below and i'm going to go Go ahead and try them out for myself as you can see here this one just got done and honestly looks super sick like this is crazy the fox does look a bit fake here but i mean overall it looks pretty cool this one is actually crazy i really like how this one came out the whole background and environment just looks super clean especially with this car I might go ahead and play around with this a bit more to get some different results all right so i just went ahead and messed around with the prompts here and as you can see these are actually crazy like this one here looks so realistic i even had the fox sitting on top of the car in this shot as well as this one this one kind of made the car like lifted for some reason and as you can see these are the ones that we created before but just like that another photo shoot done within just a few minutes. So as you can tell, just by using this, you can get some pretty crazy results. I'm just gonna go over to the video tab really quick to show you guys how you can actually make these into videos. I'm just gonna select this recent image that I just generated and use these different prompts for the video settings. All right, so I just entered in my prompt here. I have a still car with Fox walking and camera slowly panning. And for some reason, I don't know if this is a bug on my end, but I can't actually see the text I have to highlight here, which is kind of weird, but let's go ahead and hit generate video. And I am only gonna be showing this one example here because this actually does take a bit longer than just generating in a picture um, as you can see if i go into my garage it is now generating that video and this takes a bit longer than just generating the photos so this will take a bit more time but i will get back to you once this is done all right i just got an email saying that the video is done rendering so let's go ahead and check this out oh my gosh what the wait this is actually insane also it did a really good job on like animating the fox itself i feel like ais have a hard time creating like animals walking but for some reason this looks pretty realistic i just wish it kind of focused on the car more but this is definitely usable and this is insane <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and render out one more just for fun so i'll see you guys once i'm back okay my next render just got done let's go ahead and check this one out once again this is actually crazy like it looks so realistic the camera even like kind of bounces up and down as it's like almost a handheld shot i guess the only thing is at the end here the car starts to turn into like a bmw <laughs> This grill is definitely not an Audi. I assume that's just because it doesn't actually know what my original car model was, but this is like really good and looks super realistic. Yeah, but the only thing is like the headlights do look a bit more like a BMW style. As you can see, these are what they actually look like, but I assume that's because it doesn't actually know what they look like in this shot. So honestly, not a huge deal, but it is something that you can kind of notice if you're paying attention to it. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this little tutorial on how to create these AI renders using rollers, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys do want to try this out for yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can go ahead and try out this rollers website or the app. And yeah, go ahead and mess around with it and let me know what kind of results you get. And I'll be looking in the comments for any cool prompts to use and I'll pick some of the good ones and try them out for myself. But yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.